So the first thing that we need to do is peel back the label. So starting with the corners, use a razor blade to peel back each corner of the label. Then we can remove each and every screw. It's important to make sure that the label is peeled back in one piece. You do this so that the customer can still claim on their warranty if you're doing warranty work. You can see just in front of the screw I'm removing just now, there is a small magnet. The magnet is actually fixed to the uppercase lid on this model of hard drive. Replace the label and gently pry open one case of one corner of the case of the lid and lift away. So the first thing we'll do now is remove the screws from the PCB voice coil connection. Make sure you remove both screws and move them safely away from the hard drive assembly in your working area. Rotate the platter in an anti-clockwise direction and move the head to its parking zone. Take a pair of tweezers or a small flat bladed instrument and pry away the PCB voice call connection from the PCB underneath. This will give us enough room to manipulate the heads and move the heads away from the pivot. Rotate the platter again in an anti-clockwise direction whilst moving the heads. And using your fingers, be careful not to touch the platters and lift away the heads and the head assembly from the physical hard drive and place very carefully to one side out of your working area. Now the platters do not come out of these hard drives, they are permanently fixed in. So with any of these hard drives the only option you have is to replace the heads. So you just place the head back over the pivot screw, rotate the platter anti-clockwise and place the heads in their parking zone, press the PCB voice call connection back into its seated position and replace the screws. We're now ready to replace the lid back on the hard drive. Starting with one corner, lower the case lid back into position. You can see clearly now the magnet on the outer case of the lid. And replace all the screws. The first screw that we replaced there was the pivot screw. Tighten and secure all the screws from the outer edge of the case lid. When you've done this, replace the label. Make sure this is securely pressed down firmly back into position 
so the client can claim on their warranty if you are doing warranty work. If you have cut or damaged the label, the client will not be able to claim on their warranty, even with your certification.